The impaired driving problem in Texas is a big one. Uh, it's a place we are in terms of a state, uh, in terms of all ages really of drinking age or close to it. Um, we lead the nation in a way we don't want to lead the nation. I think the part of the issue is that you're fighting a culture where drinking is such a prevalent habit that it's used to celebrate basically anything. And then we're also fighting nowadays the decrease in perceived risk in using certain drugs while driving, so that's also contributing to the problem. So it's a battle that we fight every day. And ultimately, even though there's progress, these are still fathers, sons, daughters, mothers that are losing their lives to this. The challenge in a way is getting even bigger because we've maybe made a little bit of progress on the alcohol piece, but it's more than offset by prescription drugs, uh, cannabis, marijuana, um, even synthetic drugs. And, and those are becoming uh, a bigger portion of the problem and actually growing in relative terms fairly dramatically. And that does include um, the younger members of our, our population, the drivers and passengers, um, college students in particular, which is really our focus with the You and the Driver's Seat program, our college peer-to-peer -peer program, um, and our involvement in the Impaired Driving Task Force. What it tries to do is use positive peer pressure to encourage college students to promote uh, not driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. It's a positive program and ultimately what we're trying to do is get them to say, I care about you and I care about my peers. So I want myself and my friends to be safe. Texas is a big state. It's a big state geographically, uh, population wise. Um, the task force is a real asset from my perspective because it's, um, it's a great group of, of experts, talented people from lots of different uh, parts of our profession, um, enforcement, uh, the judiciary, um, other education outreach initiatives that may not even be focused on youth. Um, I know I always get a lot out of going to the forum. It's a great network. You can't know everything and everyone um, that's out there, so, you know, our partners uh, in, in the forum and, and those networks can be extremely valuable in helping us make connections uh, we wouldn't otherwise have. There's no silver bullet here. We'll, we, uh, we want to partner with other people and other organizations because everyone approaches things a little bit differently. And the more times that we can connect with this group, with a, with a youth group, um, the better. Something may resonate more than other things and so as long as we can all reach them, give them the information that they need, I think that's what's important. Many of us know uh, in our hearts and in our minds that what we're doing can truly save a life and I can't think of uh, a better cause or a better reason to come to work every day.